So we are at the bins. We're about to walk in. I'm going to see if I can film some stuff in there. They don't like you to. If not, I'll show you what I get afterwards at the car. But this is the start of a day. I'm sure we're going to hit some other thrift stores today. And it's going to be a good one, so follow along. What plus did you what plus did you find? I have no idea. I'm finding that out right now. <laughs> Let's see, we're gonna find out. We're gonna figure it out. So he's supposed to have a coat, you say? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. It's gonna be paid by the pounds, so it's not gonna be that oh, much. Okay. I just did it. It's kinda cool. It's got some issues though. It's kind of squish delish. It's gonna be a pass. Even at like a buck, unfortunately. I actually found some sports cards. Check this out, guys. That's an autograph. Some, I don't even know who this could Brian. I think his son played in the MLB. Probably just in person, but I'm gonna pick it up just because it's kind of cool. You. Yeah, you do. I don't want it. No, you, you, you have it. Yeah, I'll take it if you don't want it. Yeah, sure. There All we go. Thank you, man. I'll do another one. Don, we're getting them. We're slowly getting rich. Slowly, very slowly. Yeah, he doesn't weigh anything. Let's get it. That's cool. Now we got Scooby Doo. Found giraffe. Found this one. I found some stuff I put in a Yeah, show me what you found. Oh, there we go. Love it. Um, Love Oliver and Company. This is Vintage Clifford toy toy. Nice. Another Vintage Clifford. Another one of these. Another one of these. This. This. Look at all these. Oh, lots of plushes. And these Mickey light-ups or whatever. Yeah, pumpkins. pumpkins. Cool. Dang. Dope. Didn't expect this fine brand new Legos. Don, do you see this? Brand new Legos. Don, we're filling up the cart, guys. We're filling it up with lots of plushes. More plushes. We're finding more stuff. Don found a helmet. I love helmets. Um, Jimmy, old school flips, doesn't want to take this back home to Denver, so we got this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's all good. We got Smoke Lane stuff, my favorite team. <laughs> yeah, we got a whole cart here. Random voiceover because I filmed this weird and it was in slow-mo and our voices are all messed up, but Jimmy found this Ghostbuster wagon. Um, you know, it's just paid by the pound, so we're not going to pay much, like a buck for it. Later on, somebody uh, got the, um... The, uh, what was the green guy? What's the green guy's name? Slimer. That's it. Somebody found the Slimer that goes with this. So I'll get about 13, maybe $14 plus shipping on that. So right now we're separating what we want to get and what we don't want it. So this is stuff we're keeping. We're putting stuff back in the bins we don't want. We'll just go through, check for condition. If it's super dirty, we're probably not going to deal with it. Um, like this has some scratches. We may or may not get it. So this is probably my favorite find though. Brand new. Oh yeah, and I got an autograph card, so. <laughs> Yeah, we're finding some stuff. This is better than I thought it would be. So Jimmy just looked this up this night. It is how much? 37, 35? I don't know. We'll pay like a buck, maybe buck fifty with the by the pound. It's definitely less than a pound. So that was awesome, man. That's great. Fine. I'm glad we got that. And Jimmy's finding stuff for us too, because he didn't want to take it back to Denver. So we got a whole team of people looking for us. I appreciate you, man. <laughs> This is Vintage Clifford. Vintage Clifford. Let's get that. I like Clifford stuff in general. That's just weird. It's like from a resort, I think, somewhere in Hawaii. And it's, it's in good condition. We'll get that. Something random. I don't know what this goes into. But it's there... Jack in the Box stuff. And we have the other one in there. Yeah, we'll do a Jack in the Box. We've done good with Vintage Jack in the Box stuff, guys. This is so A cute. beaker, yes. 
I've never seen beef or... Oh, that's awesome. Who? Jim Henson. Rue? Oh, is it, oh. This is Rue from Winnie the Pooh. It was. Somebody was asking. Six. It's Gund. Gund's a decent brand. Let's get that. That one's got stain. Let's get rid of Hello Kitty. Please don't. <laughs> this? That's a Lego movie. It's got the tag. Probably not going to be worth much. Do you want to get it? Yeah, we can get it. Let's throw it in. Yeah, let's get it. Okay, so this is the one we don't know. Who's this? Well, I don't know who it is, but it's in good condition. It's not going to... Eh, let's just pass. If we don't know, let's pass. We got enough stuff. We're doing good. This is our eBay bag we got at the Boss Reseller Remix from eBay. So, Awesome. It's a random... It's missing, like, the staff. This is Danbury Mint just sitting in there. I don't know if it's going to be worth much. It's missing his staff, but it's not, like, got any... Let's look it up. Music box. Let's see if it's worth anything. Yes, so we looked this up. People are asking like 50 up to 75. Only one sold with the Miss Clause for 81 on bid. It's missing, it, missing its staff. I think we get like 20, 30 as is without the staff because it works. The music box works. I think I think we pick it up, right? Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. So Mikey Bags does not want to buy just one item. So he gave us this Friday the 13th bowl. That's awesome. We're going to get it, right? Oh, yeah. I love it. This is cool, honestly. I think I want to eat popcorn out of this. <laughs> so we don't come to the, the bins that much, but we paid, if you can see that, $28.73, and just the Lego set will pay for everything, right, Don? We're going to make some good money on that. We're going to come back a couple times a week now, aren't we? Oh, yes. It's awesome. Look, the focus is terrible, but yeah, we're going to come back. It's awesome. I think both me and Don were surprised at how good the bins were today. We don't go that often. We've never made a habit out of it. We're not big clothing sellers. And a lot of the stuff is clothing at bins. But honestly, at the bins today, it was almost 50-50 hard goods and clothes. And we like hard goods, meaning like electronics, toys, plushes, stuff that isn't clothes. And the real highlight of any bins trip is the price. You make the money in the buy. I'm not the only one that says it. You've heard me say it before. You make the money on the buy. That allows you to take offers on things and move stuff quicker. Like that Ghostbuster van that Jimmy found with the, the Slimer. I always forget his name. I don't know why. With the Slimer, we paid probably around a dollar for all that. Um, it's going to go somewhere like 12 to 15. But if I wanted to say, let's say if I wanted to sell it at $7 plus shipping, I will make three, $4 profit. Say I did that in a couple months because it didn't move, right? So I'm not going to lose. You can't lose if you buy right. Super easy to ship. In fact, I'm not shipping anymore. So it's very easy to ship for me, um, thankfully. Let me say this though. The people go, oh, you don't ship anymore. So it's easier. I shipped everything except for what? Not the last year, pretty much. Everything for 10 years straight. I did a decade of shipping. I'm, I'm glad to have moved on past that. And there'll be times where I'll have to ship again, I'm sure, in the future. But, you know, you can get there. You can get there 100%. But the bins were good. We're going to go back. We're going to go back. We might do this like once or twice a week. 